Alrighty, so I am going to make that camera guy my top priority. I'm going to kill him first. And then everything after that, well, we're just going to have to see how it plays out. Hello, my beauties. Don't mind me, just barraging your house with explosive bow. Uh, let's just go in first. Got him. And there was no one left to tell the tale of the man with the giant fucking explosive bow wrecking their face. Woo! I didn't get that intel. Or that one. That's okay, I got codes. Codes is good, right? <laughs> it's a shame that you can't really control when you get the coke deal, because I'd be actually hard-pressed to say that getting the coke deal makes doing explosive bow easier than, uh, than not. Because without the coke deal, they're more spread out, like their numbers. But with the coke deal, they're all pretty much right here. So, as you can see, when I was over here... One of the things I was trying to do was actually just break all the windows so that I could actually start shooting through them, as you can see here. Because the bows don't go through the window, they have to break the window first. Same with, like, doors and stuff. And this one is a really nice angle to pretty much, like, one shot to break the window, and then another shot can take out pretty much a good chunk of everybody at the coke deal. And then from there, it's just finishing the rest off. And, uh, funny enough, I noticed that when you al when you alert everybody, everybody on this little balcony area, they actually walk towards the edge, which makes it incredibly easy to, uh, take them out. I don't know why they do that, really. I guess they're looking for the perpetrator, and, uh, in turn, that gives them an explosive bow to the face. So this, unlike the other explosives, big oil only, like, you know, grenade launcher. Uh, grenade launcher, probably gonna be the exact same as Piglet, if not easier, because Piglet, you know, has, uh, six rounds, or six grenades to go. This has a really small radius, so doing it normally, like, you know, how I would come up here and then shoot up here, this does not work, because it would kill maybe, like, that one dude that that's, like, right here. This guy might live, everybody here would live, everybody here would live, so it doesn't work that way. I find this to be better done, kind of like the sniper rifle, where you t you take out as many as you can before you actually go in, you know, before you're forced to go in. Because, you know, when you're fully detected like this, uh, you have to make sure you stay hidden. If you stay hidden, they won't find you, they won't shoot at you. And you can let your ECM jammer block their calls, but if they let out a shot, then it's game over, stealth is over, they call the cops, yada yada yada. Uh, this was a lot more fun than doing the bow, to be fairly honest. Because I just feel pretty awesome. I feel like a single man mortar team. You know, patrolling outside the house, running around all edges, barraging the entire house. Like, each wall, each window. There's just explosive bows everywhere. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, not much else to say about that. You, usually you can get a few easy kills by breaking the windows, and then some guy standing by it will, uh, get hurt by the explosion as well. You know, like that guy right there, the camera guy, I take him out first because he instantly dies from that explosion to the window. 
And before you ask, no, I'm not gonna do RPG Big Oil because it's not possible, at least not alone. RPGs only have four shots, five with fully loaded. And five is not nearly enough to take out the entire house and the people outside. So, why don't I just bring ammo bags? Well, if I bring ammo bags, then I don't have any ECMs to block their pagers while everybody's calling. Because as soon as I let off that first shot, everyone's gonna know that I'm here. Or at least someone's here. But, uh, that's actually why this was doable with the bow, because you have a lot of ammo. So I didn't need to have ammo bags, I didn't need to have fully loaded. I just needed some pretty good aim. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed.